Clemson's experiment stations are part of a network of scientists working to improve the quality of lives for citizens in South Carolina, the nation, and the world. Today we're here at the Edisto Research and Education Center in Blackville, South Carolina, and with me is Scott Sell, who is an area livestock and forages agent, and he is the director of the Edisto Bull Test. Scott, thank you for having us here today. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here at the Edisto Research Station as far as research? Well, Morgan, here at, at Edisto and at the Research Education Center, we do a variety of public service activities and research on anything from row crops to livestock to forages to truck type crops. Um, pretty much anything that uh, that is grown in this part of South Carolina. Well, and your main focus is livestock and, and particularly the Edisto bull test. Tell us a little bit about the bull test. The bull test uh, is a unique situation to, to uh, this part of the world. It's a forage bull test. Uh, most bull tests in um, this side of Mississippi are, are grain type tests and this is a forage test which means they're, the bulls are evaluated on average daily gain, weight per day of age, based on um, a forage based system which means they eat nothing but forages and grass as opposed to a traditional grain type test. Okay and how long do the bulls stay here for the test? The bulls stay here right at 335 days. Um, the actual testing period is 168 days. They, uh, the, the, uh, they come in the, usually the Monday after Thanksgiving and then they're marketed in October. Okay, and what is the benefit of someone participating in the bull test? There's two benefits um, for two different types of producers. The uh, purebred producers, who are the, who are the uh, farmers and producers that enter the bulls into the bull test, it gives them an opportunity to uh, market and evaluate their cattle in a situation that's non-biased, um, coordinated and run by Clemson University. And in, the bulls are tested in a situation where they're all on a level playing field. Actually, at the end of the test, we rank them based on an index, and that index consists of their average daily gain plus their weight per day of age added together, and then we rank them, and the highest bull, the highest indexing bull is marketed first. Okay, so this really helps the producer when they're trying to market their particular bull. That's correct. Bull. It, not only does it help the producer market his bull and give them an opportunity to, to market their bulls, it also gives the commercial producers who are obtaining these bulls to go back and breed their cattle it's uh, giving them an opportunity to obtain good genetics that are evaluated in a non-biased way. Scott, are there any particular breeds that are required for the bull test or how does that work? We take all breeds as long as they're registered with a, with a certified registered type um, cattle association. Okay, and what age are the bulls when they're entered in the bull test? Anywhere from uh, eight to nine months up to 15 months. Uh, what are some other projects that are going on here at the research station that pertain to livestock? Some of the other projects going on here, we've got several projects going on with the cow herd here. We do have a commercial and a purebred Angus cow herd here on the station. Clemson researchers Dr. Pratt and Dr. Andre are doing some fescue toxicosis as it relates to reproductive efficiency type research projects here on the station. Okay, well that sounds great. It sounds like the Edisto Research Station is really a great service and a great resource for livestock producers in South Carolina as well as the whole country. So thank you so much for having us today and how can people find out more about the Edisto Bull Test and about the Edisto Research and Education Center? Morgan, there's a wealth of information on our, um, on our website and uh, there's a link to every project going on here at the Edisto Research Education Center. There's a link to livestock as well as a link to all the different livestock extension programs going on across the state. Great, well thank you so much Scott. It's been a pleasure to come out here and learn more about the livestock programs.